From danger on land to danger at sea, a new report says that there were 53 shark attacks in the United States last year, about half of those in Florida. Mark Strassman found out that what happens after a shark attack could be more dangerous than the bite itself. Anthony Segrich was scuba diving off this Florida beach when he was mauled by a 12-foot bull shark. His friend took this video right before the attack. When I looked down, I just saw the head, and it, it just kept biting and biting and biting. Blood turns green underwater, so the whole thing is green. The, the first bite goes across the knee, through the kneecap, all the way around, and then down across the ankle. His wounds became infected. Doctors could only guess at what antibiotics to use because they didn't know what bacteria were in the mouth of the shark. They pumped me full of pretty much every antibiotic you can imagine. Um, so, you know, that was weeks. I was in the hospital five weeks. And let's get a CT scan of his foot. Dr. Robert Borrego saved Segrich's leg. He's leading a team at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach to develop targeted antibiotics for shark bites. We have the sharks here, so why don't we go and find out what bacteria are in the, in the shark's mouth. All they have to do is swab the gums of a live shark. It's the hardest on me. It's the hardest on me right now. Shoot, man, I don't want to lose this fish. Man. Josh Jorgensen's job was to reel in a six-foot black tip shark. It's a black tip. Nice one. Hold it. Yep. Good. Yeah, so now we're swabbing the teeth underneath the gum and along the tooth line because this is where the bacteria are going to grow. Got it? The shark was released. The samples went to Borrego's lab. The goal is to fine-tune antibiotics for the bites of several species of sharks. It's definitely their domain, you know, and it's, it's their ocean. You know, everything to them is food. You mind opening the mouth for me? Finding an antibiotic answer could be the difference between life and death for the two dozen people who are attacked off Florida's coast each year. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Riviera Beach, Florida. An octogenarian.